In this video, we shall be looking at angles of elevation and depression. What is angle of elevation? Angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal and the line of sight to an object above horizontal. What do I mean by this? Let's take a look at the diagram below. Can you see? Yeah. Here I have a man looking up at an object. Can you see the line of sight? And can you see the horizontal line? And that is the observer. The observer is the person looking. So, you can see here that the observer has to raise or to elevate his head to view the top of any object which is taller or higher than him. Can you see? Is viewing the object at the top of his sight. Can you see? So, the illustration above is called angle of elevation. Can you see the angle of elevation? Good. So, that angle there, angle theta, is the angle of elevation. So, the arrow is pointing to the angle of elevation. So, examples of objects taller can be a treetop is taller than you, a building rooftop, and the top of an electric pole. In viewing this, you have to raise your head. In citing this, it is called, you form an angle called angle of elevation. Do you get that? So, let's look at angle of depression. For angle of depression, the angle below the horizontal line that an observer must look to see an object that is lower than the observer is called angle of depression. Let's see the diagram also. Can you see that the observer is high up? We're looking at the object below. Can you see the horizontal? Can you see the line of sight? Can you see that the line of sight is below the horizontal? So the angle there, the arrow is pointing to is called the angle of um, depression. So the observer has to view an object below him from a raised platform by lowering down or depressing his head to look down. Can you see? So the arrow point is pointing to the angle of elevation. So example of that is a man standing on a building top to look at a dog. So if you are standing, let's say you, you have a story building and you are looking at a dog down. You are forming an angle of elevation. Do you get that? Or let's say you stand on top of your desk in school and you are looking at your pencil on the floor. You are forming an angle of depression. So, the difference between angle of elevation and depression from the diagram below. Can you see the diagram below? Can you see the angle of elevation? And can you see the angle of depression? Can you see the difference? So for angle of elevation, you can see that the observer looks up. Okay. And for angle of depression, you can see that the observer looks down to view the object.